And we are back again with Dark Souls 3. It's time to go into the Lord uh, Lothric Castle and find the Lord there. Kill him. Gather the souls. And destroy this place. Oh shit. Because you're done. You're all done here. Okay. Soul of a crestfallen knight. Soul of a crestfallen knight. Okay. All right. Cool. So this is the start of the uh, Lothric Castle proper. The deeper, um, the deeper uh, areas, the deeper chambers. Some kind of grave here. And this knight was praying to this person here is dead there's a sword here probably like a, some kind of knight or champion maybe an honorable guy anyway i'll have to kill this guy first i'm on then Large Titanite shard. Okay. Um, what else is here? I might put my summon sign here just in case. The I haven't put my summon sign in quite a while. Kind of help out other people's world, right? So let's do that. See if anyone summons me or not. I don't need that, I don't need that, I don't need that. Okay. Oh wait, oh, okay, the summon sign disappeared. As soon as I get out of this place, it's gonna disappear. No worries. Alright. Chest. Hood of prayer, robe of prayer, skirt of prayer. Okay. Let's check out what they are. Uh, where are they? There. Okay, so Prince Lotric's Hood, the prince destined to be a lord of Cinder, was cherished by the royal family despite being born into illness, a frail and uh, shriveled child. His swaddling clothes were made of aged, coarse clothes used in ancient, ancient prayer and are all that he has ever worn. Okay. So he's the prince of this uh, castle. He's intended to be a lord of Cinder, but I think he abandoned his duty. You'll see it later once I fight him. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, same description and all. All right. Got a titanite chunk. Well, again, you can see the entire place kind of just covered in kind of like a red ish darkness not yet fully but it's going there as you can see the sun the sun's been blocked by an eclipse sort of there is a very nice view very creepy but at the same time
quite magnificent. Look at this. The sun, that's the sun, covered by the darkness, and it's, the darkness is covered. It's like it's implied that the world is being consumed by the dark. It's that the process has already begun. So if I don't act quickly, it's gonna be consumed by the dark. The sun's gonna be completely covered in dark blackness for eternity. Which is fine by me. I don't have to worry about this anymore. I'm done being pawns of other people. It's time to choose my own fate, my own destiny. I'm getting a lot of titanite chunks from this place, which is nice. Okay. Illusion maybe? Yeah, illusion ahead. Nice. Awesome. Okay, what's this? Oh, I got the winged knight helm. The winged knight armor set. This is gonna be an interesting one. So you saw the fat guy there trying to like kill me, so I'll do the description of what who that is. Uh, armor of the winged knights who swore themselves to the angels. Worship of the divine messengers was viewed as heresy in Lothric and unrecognized by any of the three pillars of rule. So the rulers were like one priestess, one knight, and one scholar maybe. Um, this is believed to be why uh, Gertrude the heavenly daughter was imprisoned in the lofty cell of the Grand Archive. So I'm guessing this fellow Gertrude uh, daughter uh, had wings and angel, like she was like an angel kinda. The, 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 this painting here probably uh, portrays her. I'm not sure if she's the same person or not, but yeah, it's probable that she had some kind of power, a sacred bloom shield. And people like the knights here saw her some kind of angel like figure or something and started worshipping her. But you know, again, that kind of thing is banned, forbidden in this castle. That's why, uh, yeah, it's, it's sealed away. Okay, so let's see the uh, shield, what it says. Um, where? Sacred Gloom Shield, a treasured antique of the Way of the White known to some as the sorcerer's bane the large blossom design is uh, that graces the shield is said to be a sacred flame and the shield is blessed with high magic protection okay so skill is spell parry uh, repel an attack at the right time to follow up with a critical hit works while equipped in either hand also deflects spell very interesting like spell parrying in dark souls game i don't think it hasn't been a thing until dark souls 3 maybe it was in dark souls 2 as well i'm not sure i haven't played that game extensively i mean i have played the game a few times but there's just too much of the game for me to remember anything uh 81 percent magic block magic resistance quite a good shield there so if I find like an uh, enemy that's purely using magic attacks, I can use this shield to block that kind of attack and uh, counter him that way. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, these uh, things that you're seeing, uh, these are the remnants. Right? These are the morphed creatures from those pilgrims, right? Those pilgrims somehow morph into this kind of like butterfly dragon thingy whoa butterfly dragon thingy they're just flying up all the way towards the top of the lottery castle for some reason i'm not sure why but that's what it's that's what they're doing Oh. 
Okay. More? I'm getting so much of this stuff. Damn. Vision of monster. Okay. Again, like you, you can see, the castle is kind of run down. There's been a fight, maybe like a in fight between the castle holders, like the defenders, and some kind of other entity. I'm not sure, but yeah. All right. Whoever's throwing that kind of thing at me, I need to die. Where is he? You have to like climb up. Okay. Um, check this side. Nothing here. Again, that's a dragon. That's a live dragon. I have to cross the bridge somehow. This one's the knight. Lotric knight. A red eyed lottery knight. So they're gonna be a bit more powerful. But nothing against my Black Knight sword, and uh, yep, you got a great lance from him. Spear weapon. Where is it? There. Okay, this lance features a long pole and was originally intended to be used by Knights of Jousting. This weapon is primarily used by charging attack and would require tremendous strength and dexterity to be handled by a mere foot soldier. So I'm going to be someone now. Excellent. Okay, he already uh, activated the lift. Excellent. <laughs> With chilling. I guess you're gonna go for the boss fight. Okay, you can see a preview of the boss of this area. Well, this is one of the boss of the area. Alright, let's go ahead and get this done. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 
all right, got it. So, <laughs> well, he thought it was kind of easy. It was kind of easy because, like, you know, he was uh, throwing fireball from the rear, and I was kind of fighting him from the front. And uh, yeah, easy to take down once you're two v one boss fight, like, like taking the boss versus like soloing, right? Um, the interesting thing is that this is the uh, armor of the Dragon Slayer Ornstein from Dark Souls 1. But he is not all there. Like his, his soul is kind of manifested into this armor. But as a person, the Ornstein Dragon Slayer, he is not like physically there. But his armor kind of remembers that, you know, he's a Dragon Slayer, so he uh, still fulfills, quote-unquote, fulfills his duty. Um, okay, so um, I don't want to be here. I want to drop down. Yeah, I can see there's two dragons, not one. Two of them. You do not want to be near that. that one wants to start firing, uh, you know, breathing fire upon this bridge here. You do not want to be there. Okay. Good thing I managed to kill him in time. So otherwise he would have morphed into that monstrosity. Like that black blob, huge blob monster thingy. Uh, titanite chunk, which is nice. Another titanite chunk. Excellent. Oof, but he wanted to turn into that monster as well. Good thing I killed him in time. I hear uh, a crystal lizard somewhere. Lightning arrow. What is this? Let me check on the messages. Lizard ahead? Ah. There. There it is. Come here! Twinkling Titanite. Nice. Time for ambush. Whoa! Nice one. Good message. More titanite chunks. Did I read it up? Yeah, I read it up. Good. Throwing knife. Okay. Uh oh. Backstab, backstab. There's the backstab. Nice! Got it. Large Tachnet Shard. And this guy just. Oh, no. He was the one throwing that thing. It's like a, some kind of grenade that will prevent Astro's recovery. Uh, it's not a grenade, it's uh, like a... Uh, what do you call this thing? I, I have one of these things with me. Um, yeah, this one. The Undead Hunter Charm. Prevents Astro's recovery within a certain limited area. So he was throwing that thing so that I couldn't like chug my Astro's while I'm taking damage from the enemy down below. Let there be revenge. Yeah. Oh crap. Quite annoying. At least I got to him. And I got the large soul of a nameless soldier. Not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> okay. Now, I kind of want to go to the other side. This item. Undead Bone Shard, because obviously. Ooh, what's this? Praise the tight spot? Interesting. Huh. Alright. Okay. 
to set up below. I have 13 extra slots, should be good to go. I uh, can get a better view of the dragons here. I'll drop down. And this is the side I want to be. Damn it! This guy again. Gem. Uh oh. Gotta backstab him. Come on then. There's, oh, no. There's a backstab. Get. Oh, dead. Where is he firing from? Oh, there, right there. Right, I'm coming for you. Large sword of a nameless soldier. Your days of throwing hundred hundred charms over. It is called hundred hundred charm, right? Uh, yep. There's a tough enemy below me. This one. Whoa! Still rapier. That's gonna be a dex weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, here, right here. Uh, thrusting sword bestowed upon the Outrider Knights of the Boreal Valley. This weapon is shrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every Outrider Knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontiff's Levine's black eyes. So the black eyes and the uh, skill is shield splitter. Aim carefully and attack in a large forward lunge to pierce through the enemy shields and inflict direct damage or damage directly. Um, so uh, it's implied that the Ponte Sulevain from uh, Irithil of Boreal Valley gave this knight some kind of black eye, uh, either a charm or a ring or something like that, and they became slaves to the uh, Ponte, became these hollow husks doing his bidding without question, you know what I mean? So that's what they became. Uh, more twinkling titanite. This one looks like, yeah, this one is fine. Spirit tree crest shield. Interesting item. And titanite scale. Maybe see the shield then, what it says. Um, what is it? There. Spirit tree crest shield. 83% reduction on lightning. Wow, okay. That's quite significant. A knight shield engraved with a crest depicting a spirit tree. One of the enchanted blue shields, the spirit tree crest shield greatly reduces spirit damage. I mean lightning damage. Shield and um, skill is I guess I'll be able to use this for that upcoming boss battle that I just finished with the co-op buddy because you know he inflicts lightning damage as well as physical damage um, what's that? pointless ahead uh, guys I don't wanna take one of you at once but all right oh shit Oh god, he's buffed.
large titanite shard and you come on stop Got myself a estrus flask, a recovered one. Um, nothing here. I guess like they were kind of, uh, I don't know uh, what do you call them. Not worshiping, uh, honoring him. So, you know, he was a fallen soldier, a fallen knight. Was honoring him. Something happened here. You know, all of these dead knights, dead soldiers. They probably fell into the uh, the darkness. Now oh, they're here. Okay, time to run. Run! Heal myself because I have the path of healing. Okay, never mind, there's some more enemies coming in. You! Now I'll heal myself. Uh, I mean, passively, that is. No! I ain't. What the? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck, fuck off! Okay. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Okay. How many of these enemies are there? Right, I need to get my fire longsword out, heal myself, get a uh, fire bomb out, and target this enemy right here. Oh, fuck, ah, it's supposed to do this. Damn it! Titanite chunks and an em two embers. Which stuff? I hear it. I hear it. I hear the uh, the um, crystal lizard. I think it's down below. Let me go get him. Change my sword to the. Where is it? Where is it? Uh. Where's my Black Knight sword? What? Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. 
more titanite chunks. What if I drop down there? Oh, I already uh, know what that is. That was the ambush location down below. Okay. Dead. More twinkling titanites. Great stuff. Titanite scale. Uh, that other dragon is also presumably dead, maybe. I'm not sure, really. Probably dead. Refined gem. Ember. Lightning arm. Getting a lot of loot. And another ember. Okay, so the implication here is that these dragons, you may have noticed that attached to their leg was one of those like black blobby creatures. So it's implied that they were being infected and controlled by those black creatures. And their purpose was to like defend this area from people like me, like, uh, trying to do my duty, trying to invade and kill the lord of the castle. But as soon as I killed the blob thingy, the dragon kind of died immediately. So I guess like, um, I don't know, like maybe the dragon invaded this place, died. The black blobs took control of the dragons and now became part of the defenders of this castle. Who knows? Can't say for sure. But anyway, they're dead. What does it matter? I'm going to go ahead and kill the other dragon. Well, he's already kind of dead, but I'll finish him off. By going to the other side. But first, let's wipe them out. This jaguar here. Oh. He was gonna raise all the enemies in this area. I'm not gonna let him. I'll just kill him where he stands. I'll destroy these two as well. Titanite scale. Good. And this is a mimic. So let's do the old strong attack. Uh oh. And it's dead. Symbol of Everest, I got another one. Well. The more the merrier, I guess, even though it's the same thing. It's alright. Large soul of a wary warrior. And this lever will open up the uh, the castle gate. The inner uh, area of the Logic Castle. It's gonna work as a shortcut. For myself. Okay, then. There's gonna be a lot of knights below me. There's a, see, that's another knight that's glowing with red eyes. I kind of don't want to engage him without proper uh, strategy. Okay, there's another priest up ahead. As you can see, he's already noticed me. Fucker. Yep. Damn. Doing a lot of damage. Fuck you! Alright. Logic Knight Helm and the Large Titanite Shard. Oh, you! You're a fucker! 
constantly healing these guys. Tritonite shirt. Got them all. I don't think there's anything on this side. Oh, there is an ember. Okay, I'll take it. How many? I have five Estus Plus. Should be good to go. I have like 1.2, uh, 120,000 souls with me. Holy shit. Quite a lot of souls. Okay, so that's the boss fight. Before I go there, sunlight metal. I'm going to take the elevator down below me and open up the shortcut to the initial area of the game where I started. Kind of want to bank these souls here before I continue. Too many souls to carry around with me, you know, it's too risky. If I die, I wouldn't like that. to fucking backstab this guy. <laughs> Jesus fuck! Okay. I almost died there. Whoa! Whoa! Large pack in my shard. This is why I need a like a like a great shield. So I'll be able to tank more damage without getting killed. Also I was sloppy in this part. If I wanted like if I could parry properly I would have been able to do more. Okay, time to get back to the firing shrine again. Level up my strength a little more. And in the next part, I will uh, take the lift upstairs, finish off the rest of the Lottery Castle, and fight the boss. Okay. Welcome home, speak. Very well, then taken. Alright, so uh, strength to 38. Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. And I sh think I should be able to wield one of the shields here. Um, hmm. Six to three percent on lightning. I can actually wield this one. What I'll do? Buy myself a havel string from uh, Ludlith. Aha! Thou returned, and a fine day it is. So, happened upon any? Twisted souls? Sure. Um, where is it? There. This one. Uh, Soul of a Stray Demon. I can get that, well, exchange that for a Havel's Ring. Speaking of which, I need to go back to this area where that bridge was. Uh, I think this, I'm gonna find some new items. Oh, I think this is gonna be later, not now. I can go to get that later. Okay, so. Exchange that. I took the mantle of Lord of Cinder of mine own volition. I speak these words with pride. Okay. Choose thy fate alone. Seize it with thine own hands. All the more, 
Should thy fate entail such foul betrayal? Hmm. Aha, that so. Interesting. The eyes show a world destitute of fire, a barren plain of endless darkness, a place born of betrayal. Oh. So I willed myself, Lord, to link the fire, to paint a new vision. What is thine intent? The eyes are what if okay. I took the mantle, choose all the Yeah, I'm done with the helping people, so my intent is to stop linking the fire and just leave it all to its own demise. Okay, so life ring uh, which one can I trade? I guess I can trade this with uh, where's the Avil's ring? This one, Avil's ring, and get myself. Oh no, I can't! It will take me over the edge. Seventy-one point four percent. Okay, I need to like uh, increase my vitality a little bit more before I can use this ring and they use the shield. Oh no, no worries. I can get it done in. The next round, the ne after the next boss fight, I'll be able to level up my vitality. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, uh, that's the end of this part. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.